to Summertime Kilkenny County Matters. Well, it's always busy here in Kilkenny, so let's have a look at what we got up to. First up, we discover how cricket was once upon a time played more in Kilkenny than hurling. Next, we meet the Batemans, the new snooker heroes of Kilkenny. Our next story tonight is about the Bateman family, who run a one-table snooker club that's punching well above its weight. James, you're the founder of this club here, and you've turned out some great heroes over the years. Yeah, we have. We've done very well through the years, we have. Daddy Morris came along when he was nine years of age, and he quickly became one of the best snooker players in the country, winning all the national championships, all the way up to senior grade, and then he won three Irish senior championships in a row, one of them when he was 15 years of age. And um, from there, along came Benny O'Brien. Uh, Benny won a national intermediate title. Uh, then you have John O'Sullivan. John O'Sullivan uh, played for Ireland last year in Bulgaria. And um, then along came Stephen, my son. And Stephen has played for Ireland, the youngest man ever to play for Ireland at nine years of age. And the other son, Luke, has played for Ireland this year and last year in the Celtic Challenge in Wales. And Oshin came along this year and was the mascot on the Irish team this year for the Celtic Challenge in Wales. And you all got your sporting gene from your late father, Jimmy Bateman, who built the Spring Hotel. And some people might say he was a man way before his time. That's right, yeah. He, he tried out for the Olympics uh, back in the 60s, yeah, back in the 50s, 60s, and he was unsuccessful. Actually, Fred Teat, who won the silver medal in the Olympics back then, came to Uncle Kenny after he won the silver medal, and my father knocked him out down the Mayfair. So from there then, he built the Spring Hill in the 70s, and uh, when he was up there, he put in three snooker tables, and that's where I started playing snooker, and um, this is all I had led from there, I think, really. So that's what so you and your three sons all train with a pretty special coach. PJ Nolan, he was the nas he's a national coach. He was a national coach of Ireland and he's also an international snooker coach. And he coaches the boys and all they need to do and he's very good with them and he's uh, very professional at his job. PJ, you're the coach of the Bateman brothers. Now they're the youngest ever players to win competitions at lots of levels. They're the only family that in Ireland have, that have represented Ireland at all its levels. Starting at under 12, under 14, and 18, and onto his father, James. Um, it's a unique um, family to, to have in Kilkenny, and uh, in Irish, they were very happy. Stephen, did you really beat Dennis Taylor when you were just 12? Uh, back when I was just 12 in the Spring Hill Hotel, so it was a great honour to play up there and be a former world champion. What was he like? Uh, he was a very nice man. And, uh, he helped me a lot, gave me a lot of advice. That I've used this day, so it was a good experience for me. Stephen, your current highest break is 139 at age 18. You're also the youngest player ever to represent the Republic of Ireland. How did that feel? It um, feels great. Uh, very unusual for a player so young to represent Ireland at that age. I actually I got a wee card off with my coach, PJ Nolan, so I wasn't really expecting that at the time, but experience helped me a lot along the way and uh, I gained a lot playing all the Welsh players that came over at the time. Now Oisín, you started very young as well, at the age of six. And what famous player did you take on last year? Uh, yeah, I played Ken last year in the Dolman and um, he bet me when he opened me in the second <laughs> Now do your big brothers help you out? Yeah, they do teach me a lot of things. Your first rivalry going on between the three of you? Yeah, but we do go on quite well. David Morris, a Kilkenny man yourself, and playing professional snooker for the past 10 years. Have you got any advice for these young heroes? Yeah, I would just tell them to keep enjoying it and keep playing in all the national competitions because the, the best thing you can have is to just stay loving what you're doing. You'll do better in the sport and uh, of course, you know, you'll probably last a lot longer in it as well as long as you're enjoying it. Well, best of luck to our Kilkenny snooker champions. If you've got a story for Kilkenny County Matters, you can Facebook or tweet us at Irish TV. It's time now for a break.